All right, here we go. Question number 18 of 18. This is the last problem in our College Algebra homework number 7 in my lab math. And here they give us a system of linear equations, and they want us to use Kramer's rule to solve. I saved the best for last, okay? So take a deep breath and strap in. It's going to be a little bit of a long ride here, okay? Here we go. The first thing I notice over here in my window is that my equations are set up correctly. I've got my x's, my y's, and my z's. All of the variables are on the left-hand side. They're all lined up. All of the constants on the other side. And so this set of equations is set and ready to find the determinants, okay? So here we go. Using Kramer's rule, the first thing that we need to find is what I call regular D. And regular D is the the determinant of the coefficients, okay? So we're going to have a determinant. And this is the determinant of the coefficients. So 1, 1, 1. Those are the coefficients of x, y, and z. And then we have 4, negative 1, 1. 4, negative 1, 1. And last, we have negative 1, 8, negative 1. Now, we're going to have to find the determinant of this 3x3 three three matrix. I've done this in a previous video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the shortcut again. The shortcut says that you take the first two columns, the 1, 4, negative 1, the 1, negative 1, and 8. You copy and paste those outside the matrix so that the shortcut will work. And then we're going to multiply down on the diagonal. 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Next, diagonal, multiplying down. 1 times 1 times negative 1. And then the next diagonal, multiplying 1 times 4 times 8. And then these three numbers, we need to add them up. Well, 1 minus 1 cancels, so that's just 32. Now we're going to change direction going up on the diagonal. Notice that I also change color to remind you that when you change direction, you have to change the sign. So negative times a negative makes a positive. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, but we have to change the sign. Next, diagonal. 8 times 1 times 1, that's 8, which becomes negative 8. And the next diagonal, negative 1 times 4 times 1, that is negative 4. But I have to change the sign, and then we're going to add them up. That's going to be negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. And then the last step is to take these two numbers hanging off the end, and we need to add those up, okay? So 32 minus 5 is, what is that, 27? 32 minus 5, 27. Let me check the calculator real quick. I don't trust myself. 32 minus 5, 27. So there's regular D. And so now we just have to do that process three more times. <laughs> Here we go. D sub X. I told you it's going to be a little bit of a ride here, okay? D sub X, that says to take the constants in place of the X's. So we're going to have 0, 0, negative 27. Did you see that? Now the constants take the place of the x's, and the y's and the z's stay the same. So 1, negative 1, and 8. And 1, 1, and negative 1. And then we're going to crank out the determinant again, okay? So copy and paste. 
0, 0, negative 27, 1, negative 1, and 8. And then on the diagonal, multiplying, 0 times anything is 0. 1 times anything is itself. And 0 times anything is 0. Add them up. Change direction. Negative times a negative makes a positive. Remember when we change direction, we have to change the sign. 0 times anything is 0. And 0 times anything is 0. So that's going to give me a negative 27. And then these two numbers hanging off the end here, these need to add. So negative 27 plus negative 27, that is negative 54. That is d sub x. Now we need d sub y. And so d sub y says, now we're going to take uh, we're going to get to keep the x's, so 1, 4, negative 1. But now we're going to have to replace the y's with the constants. So the 0, 0, negative 27, 0, 0, negative 27, take the place of the y's, and we get to keep the z's, 1, 1, negative 1. And then it's time to do the shortcut again. So copy and paste, 1, 4, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 27. Here we go. On the diagonal, 0 times anything is 0. 0 times anything is 0. And 1 times 4 times negative 27. That's going to be 4 times negative 27, which is negative 108. Add them up, negative 108. Change direction, change the sign. 0 plus 27 and 0. And again, remember I'm multiplying there. Multiply, multiply, multiply. Add them up. And then the numbers hanging off the end, the 27 and negative 108, add them up. Negative 81, D sub Y. All right, here we go. One more time, like Britney Spears. Hit me, baby. One more time. D sub Z. So now the X's get to stay. 1, 4, negative 1, and the y's get to stay 1, negative 1, and 8, and the z's now get replaced with the constants, 0, 0, negative 27, okay? And with the shortcut one more time, copy and paste, 1, 4, negative 1, 1, negative 1, and 8 on the diagonal. Multiplying, we get a positive 27. 0 times anything is 0. And 0 times anything is 0. So that's 27. Change direction, we're going to change the sign. 0, 0. Remember, I'm multiplying there, so any diagonal that has a zero there is going to end up being zero and then negative 27 times 4 times 1 works out to be negative 108 but remember I got to change the sign so that's a plus 108 add them up and then the numbers hanging off the end add them up what is 108 plus 27 that works out to be 135. Bam. And so now I have enough information that I can solve the equation. Holy crap, I just realized that it wants me to put this answer in in the form of determinants. 
I am so sorry. Uh, we're going to have to put these in indeterminates. Now, this is a three by three. Make sure you change these to three by three. And guess how many of those we're going to need? Dang it. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to need six of those. Did I apologize yet? I am so sorry for assigning this topic. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> All right, one more time. Bam, bam, bam. All right, so now what is that? Nine, six, that's 54 squares we have to fill in correctly and not miss any sign. <laughs> All right, so let's hope we don't miss a sign here. In the denominator, that is regular D, which I have pulled up on the screen over here. And that's going to be 1, 1, 1, 4, negative 1, and 1. And negative one, eight, whoops, tab, and negative one. I wonder if it'll let me copy and paste that. Control C, Control V. Mm, I bet it would if I didn't have that there, okay? So let's see if we can select all and delete, and now Control V. Ha! Ah! Oh, yeah. Select all. Delete. Control V. Copy. Okay, so at least we can copy and paste and not have to put all that in three times. So, now for the numerator, we need D sub X, which now I have pulled up in this window. That's going to be 0, 0, negative 27 going down. 1, negative 1, and 8 going down. And 1, 1, negative 1 going down. And remember, you're going to be very careful when you're putting these in because if you miss even one sign, instant death, okay? D sub y. Now we're doing D sub y, which I have pulled up here. 1, 4, negative 1. Middle column, 0. Whoops. 0 and negative 27 and 1, 1, negative 1. All right, one more time here. 1, 4, negative 1. Remember, this is now D sub Z, which here, now I have it pulled up in my screen over here so you can see. 1, 4, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 8. And we have 0, 0, negative 27. All right, so fingers crossed. <sighs> okay, thank the good Lord. We got that right. Now we can figure the solution set. All right, so now we're going to go over here to our window and show you how to get the ordered triple X, Y, and Z. Okay, so remember that X is d sub x over d. So if we scroll back up, d sub x was negative 54. And regular d was 27. And that's going to divide to make negative 2. So there's our uh, answer for the x coordinate negative 2. Going ahead and put that into my lab math. Now let's calculate y, which is d sub y over d. d sub y was negative 81. d we know is 27. And I believe that's negative 3. If we divide that out, putting that into my lab math. And last but not least, we have our value for z, d sub z over d. 
D sub Z was 135. Again, D is 27. And I believe that's going to divide and make 4, positive 4. I'm going to check with the calculator just to make sure. And that, oh, it's actually 5. Mm, thank goodness for checking the calculator. That's actually a 5. Putting that in, fingers crossed. Mm. Oh, man, what a problem. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.